Uh, okay, today uh, I'm going to be drawing at the same time and talking about a couple of issues um, that I've, you know I want to go over. Uh, unfortunately, again, I'm not going to be at home for the next few days, which is very frustrating. But I've got a family issue, so I'm going to be away for three days, and uh, so I just cannot get this drawing finished. Uh, I've added more detail in places, but still got a lot more to do. Obviously, it's 1984 is here, and the fascists are taking over Facebook, and they're not putting the boot on everyone's head. So, you can see, I mean, if you go back to the previous um, drawing, you'll see that, uh, I'll send, put a link at the bottom, you'll see there's more detail in certain areas, like here. Um, but I still, what I do is I do layers. So, this is a second layer, and you can see there's a bit more detail. A uh, bit more detail on the money and the keys and the visa card and everything. And what I'm going to do is to add one or two more details on top of this uh, when I can. Uh, when I come back, sorry. Uh, before everyone starts thinking, it is me, yes. Some people are saying they can't believe it's me. It's me, look, my pencil, my pen. I haven't stolen anyone's drawings. I don't know what I, don't know what I have to do to prove it's me. Um, I don't know why people are so shocked that I can draw, for God's sakes. It's not, you know, like, you know, I'm doing brain surgery. I'm just doing uh, drawing. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, um, talk about a couple of issues. And while I'm doing that, I'll draw. Uh, one of the things is, like I said, when you're drawing and stuff, uh, this isn't done yet, but, you know, I use reference points. So you can see the 50p coin and a 20p coin. Still got to add a bit more detail. I see it the other way around. And the 10p coin was here, so you can see it's the little lines on there. And you can see I've just kind of like um, tried to replicate as much as possible the chub key, and then I had this key here. And what I do is I just keep on copying them and uh, adding them on. And so you can see, like, uh, the detail isn't there yet, it's still got to add more detail to the queen's head and all that kind of stuff. The queen, the queenie, queenie. Um, and so still got to do that and that. Uh, what I'm doing is just adding the detail now. Uh, like the drawing's drawn, but it's not finished. I need to add detail now and really kind of make it the drawing pop and give it not pop like that, but make it kind of like uh, more detailed and three dimensional. Poor guy still having the boot on his head. Sorry, I can't finish the drawing. It, it, I just got a family issue again. Um, I've got. I'll be uploading videos that I've already put on my account. I'll just upload them over the next couple of days. Still, still got some YouTube videos from uh, Speakers Corner and stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do today is like uh, just go over a few issues. Like I said, um, obviously, you know, <laughs> I've got people like saying, "Raj, your sense of humor is terrible." Where, where, where people think you're an idiot. Do you know what? I don't care. Like having a sense of humor. I've got a very dark, weird sense of humour. This is why most of my life I used to struggle a bit because people don't get my sense of humour. But uh, I don't care anymore. Like, I like making people feel awkward. So if you feel awkward by watching the videos, great. It's the whole point. I think talking about things like race and talking about things like, you know, uh, gender and all this kind of stuff and religion, it's just a good way to break barriers. Like a lot of people that, they just don't want to talk openly. And so... What happens, you start demonizing each other. Um, and uh, actually, while I do that, so you start demonizing each other. So, so what I'm doing, actually, before I go, before, what I'm going to do right now is just, uh, I should really just concentrate on one thing, but I can't bother to do that because I've got too many things to do. Uh, I've already drawn the hair in, yeah, as you can see with pencil. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, very important, is I've got my charcoal and I'm going to be adding darks to it so I can uh, refine the hair and make it look like it's got more depth. Because at the moment it just looks like a wig. Um, yeah, so like, like, like I said, with my, um, with my uh, sense of humour, it's good to kind of like break down barriers. Uh, because I'm unafraid to kind of just talk about anything really. Like, if you want to talk about race with me, let's talk, man. If you want to tell me your most racist thoughts, let me hear it. Or, you know, whatever you want to say, just say it. Let me hear, let me hear. You know, I can disprove you or I can kind of show you the areas of your way. If you don't talk, this is the problem I have with people because they're not talking to each other. 
you have the the kind of like the white people looking at the Muslims like oh they're all terrorists and if they got a long beard they're the terrorists and if you the what uh, people like people like Saeed he's always crying poor boy he's such a soft soft soul uh, I do feel sorry for him sorry Saeed I know I feel sorry for him it's Ali Diva's making his life a misery as well then I'm making his life a misery as well uh, and so. Uh, you have people that you know see the other side and if you watch the videos of me interacting with these people i'm trying to show that they're just normal human beings yeah they're not all just racist nazi thugs who are going around you know hating and want to kill everyone no no they're not uh, there are going to be some in there there's no doubt on both sides there will be some nasty evil people and those people need to be rooted out yeah and the uh, people that are not need to start talking and joking a bit, you know, I think humour is very important in being able to kind of like communicate and have a good time. I think this is one of the biggest problems we're having with the younger, with the Muslim community. Um, they don't know, their sense of humour is terrible. Except for people like Abu Lenth, yeah, and he's just, I find him very funny in that. And, um, you know, uh, this is why I got a, new, a Muslim scholar called Abu Lenth. Uh, Google him, and uh, he's so funny, man, and so great. Like having a funny Muslim shake that can kind of chat and have a good laugh and you know not mock his religion but at least have a a, a, a light-hearted look at his own faith uh, he's really not liked a lot um but you know people like uh, what i'm going to do today as well is i'm going to address two comments because they're too long to uh, go through like me writing and too important and so uh, obviously i'm going to be um the two people i respect one of them is going to be called what's his, what's his is saracen big up saracen yeah uh, great guy, he's a Muslim guy. Uh, I think he's kind of like the future, kind of. So if you see this name, Saracen Seven Eight Six, don't be rude to him. Yeah, mean him, get on. So he can be quite brutal with me sometimes, but I don't mind that from certain people. And the other person is going to be Oz Virium. Uh, he he's not as clever as he sounds actually. His name's just James, some random white dude. Yeah, no, actually it's James from Put Speakers Corner. So he's kind of. Uh, uh, gone over because I've had a bit of a backlash from two videos uh, one up from those two and some other people saying that the Lodgen video was too harsh and why did you say this and that one was for the uh, fuck Manchester guy and um, that was from Saracen so I'll address both of those two while while I'm drawing uh, before I do that uh, let's have a look at this now this uh, particular video yeah is about the forgotten seat grooming gangs. Look how long the video only lasted. 228, yeah. Most of it was music. Yeah, so alright, these are the guys. Vikram Singh. He needs his head. I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna say yet. He needs to be punished, yeah. Seat guy. Part of a grooming gang, yeah. Uh so shame him, shame him, shame him. Yeah. This other guy. Uh Amma Singh Dalawal. Shame him, shame him, shame him. Yeah. He's not he's He's a Sikh and he's going to get his uh, comeuppance, yeah. And then you have uh, these two, same, these are actually the, the same guy, Vikram Singh and Hanmohan Nangpal, yeah. Shame him, shame him, shame him, yeah. And now, watch the video. <laughs> it's then six men grooming, yeah, watch, watch it. Uh, and then all that happens is bang, and then you've got these two white dudes. I didn't know they were Sikh. <laughs> Look at this. Is he Sikh? <laughs> oh my god, this video is forgotten Sikh grooming gangs that there's two white people, <laughs> black and white guy, yeah, and it just ends and it's just got Bangra music all the way through. Uh, so 29 people out of the Huddersfield thing, I think two of them were actually Sikh. Um, yeah, they were. And here's the name, Amr Singh Dalawa. Shame him, shame him, Raj Singh Bazran. Now, the difference between the Sikhs, yeah, these guys, actually, I've got to shut the camera up doing this bit is that these guys are represented, rightly or wrongly, in proportion to their population. How You couldn't even get a two minute video out of that particular uh, thing, yeah? You couldn't even get a two minute video. Uh, if I was to do a video on grooming gangs yeah, from these people here, it would last probably around an eternity. I probably wouldn't be able to finish the video because there'd be so many people's names. Yeah, so you cannot understand that in a, a, a population, yeah, you will have bad apples. And what will happen is that you will have people from our, the Sikh community that will be uh, involved. 
Hindus were involved and so were uh, some white people and black people but they are in proportion with their uh, population that's why you could only get a two minute video and most of it is just Bangra and hardly anything else now if I was to do a video about how many Muslim grooming gangs it would just be a video that would go on for eternity it would still be playing in the year 2000 and 50, 25, 25th century, 28th century it would just keep them going on yeah and so <clears throat> you guys got to just shut your mouths yeah see these guys here shut your mouths and just deal with the problem stop making excuses deal with the problem I'm sick and tired of your bullshit yeah these type of guys are walking around grooming in massive numbers yeah obviously you're gonna you you have a, a slight a weird uh, people in our community as well and they're gonna be dealt with whichever way uh, and I want to say something before I carry on this guy here yeah see this guy here it says history of grooming share up and job member see this guy here I know him he went prison yeah for beating up grooming gangs I'm not gonna say who he is I've known him for 25 years He's one of the very few people I keep in contact with, even today. Yeah, most people I've lost contact with. This guy has to cover his face, do you see? But he's a hero. Yeah, one day, yeah, my goal is to make it that this person can talk openly without covering his face and show what he, and be proud of what he done, not be ashamed. Because the government has made him into a criminal and the guys that he um, uh, sorted out into, mar into victims. And that's not the case. Yeah, this guy is a legend. Yeah, somebody I know very, very, very well. And I'm going to be seeing him just in around a week, maybe two or three weeks. Um, so big up this guy. Yeah, he needs a medal. Let's get him a medal. Yeah, he, he's an ex Shadow Punjab member. He went to prison for protecting Sikh girls from grooming. Um, so now I'm going to go on to the Lodgen thing. Ask Viriam. Yeah. Damn, I'm not even freaking took it. It's kind of, um, uh, I'm not going to go over everything. I'm just going to go over the main points. He's upset that I've um, kind of shamed the Lofton in such a way that, you know, it's, it's, he says it's become personal. And I'm uh, I'm revealing um, things that are personal to the Lofton. And yes, I did. I did reveal things that are personal, like he's married to a Muslim woman, that he's a cokehead, that he's a drunk and he's a misogynist. And he cheats and he stuff like that. Now, the reason I say it is because he does it openly. He does it openly in the park. Uh, the day that the, the video of me apologising, he was with a group of women and he was going out and he was hugging them up, touching them up and all that stuff. And he was drunk at the same time. Um, at that point, he's talking about Barney, which is a, a religious text. Think about this. It's hard for um, James to understand this because he's not a religious person. So... When you're, when you're claiming to be something, a representative, I've never said I represent Sikhs. I know I'm a bad person and a bad Sikh. Uh, I've got a long way to go, but <clears throat> I have never said that. All I've done is I've gone to the park and I've highlighted issues that I feel are so crucial to moving forwards that I will talk about it. The only way to stop me, if I'm being honest, is to kill me. I know it sounds bad. I better not say that. Or to just let's just say, um, how can I say it? Not kill. Let me take that back. Not to kill me, but let's just say, uh, put me in another place. <laughs> You're gonna have to get rid of me, yeah, because I'm not gonna stop talking about this issue until I shame that community, yeah, and watch until I shame this community into taking action, yeah. Whatever action they're gonna do, do it. Just sort your freaking. Uh, brothers, whatever they are, all of those guys, uncles, whatever they are, out. Yeah. Otherwise, things will just keep on escalating and escalating because it's a problem that I'm sick and tired of people denying. Yeah. Um, he also says uh, that you know um, the phone privilege. It is a privilege to talk to somebody on the phone. If I don't, if I, if I say to you I don't want to talk, yeah, on the phone, I didn't think give you permission like with Hassan, big up his Hassan. It's a privilege, and I gave the lot in that privilege. Yeah. And he, I gave him that privilege because I thought, all right, let me just try and see if I can kind of build a relationship with this guy. But unfortunately, <clears throat> I couldn't. Um, you know, it, all he, all he wanted to talk about was filth and uh, what he was going and where he's going and what he was doing. I'm not into that kind of bullshit. Oh, you're going to a party, you're going to a rave, you're going to a reggae concert. I don't care, man. It's not my kind of thing. 
This is why I like going speaker's corner because I can talk about things that are important. And so <clears throat> he obviously um, feels like I'm kind of slandering him and stuff. But uh, I get on with James. I've been nice to him. Uh, the lodger wasn't agreeing with me. And the, th the reason why I'm so angry with the lodger, and obviously he's attacked me personally. He said I'm not a Sikh in front of everyone. Done this, done that, numerous times. Called me names, called me pigeon, called me... Uh, uh, Puddi, Fuddi, Fuddu, whatever, Panjod. I mean, Panjod is a sister fucker and all that, openly, which I've never called him any of these yet. But the thing that has really aggravated me the most is his stance with the grooming. He has never, ever condemned it that I know of. And that is sick, yeah? To me, that is sick. Because men are going prison from my community. I'm not going to say he is community because I don't know what community he belongs to anymore, to be honest with you. And I think his uh, relationship with his wife has made him uh, become more of a... Uh, he's got a dual personality you now, a dual kind of uh, culture that has made him like a hybrid Sikh thingy. I don't know, that's my opinion. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to apologise for uh, saying that. Uh, and so... You know, it's the proportion that is the problem. And I'm sick and tired of Muslims not being able to understand it. It's like they, have, they can't understand maths. They don't understand maths. If, I'm going to use another analogy, this time not with apples, because I've got no apples here. If Sikhs, yeah, say if I stole all of these pencils. I didn't though, I brought them, yeah. Say if I stole them all. And then when they were doing convictions, yeah, for these people stealing pencils, it came out that the conviction rate, yeah, was around 70%. And 70% of those com people convicted were Sikhs stealing these pencils. Yeah? But we only make up 1% of the population. Would you want to not want to know why are they selling, stealing these particular pencils? What is causing them to steal these particular pencils? And it's the same with the Muslim population. They make up 4% of the population, but account for... 85% um, of type 2 street grooming. And before everyone says, oh, it's white people. We know white people do it. So shut up. But that's uh, pedophilia. That's type 2. So stop using your, your kind of like straw man. And trying to kind of like get away from your responsibility. These are the guys that are doing it. Yeah. These are the guys that have been fighting it since the 80s. These are the people that are suffering. The girls in the middle. Yeah. They are the ones that are suffering. Sort your community out. You can't keep on saying, oh, well, we're being demonized. Well, if you stop raping, people will not demonize you. Can you not see the, can you not see the kind of like logic behind that? You stop raping and people will stop demonizing you. It's, it's very simple. If I'm going out there raping people and doing this, that and that, don't you think people are going to get pissed off after a while? Yeah, they're rightly going to be pissed off. So stop whinging and being the victim. Yeah? You are not the victim. This, these girls are the victims. The people that went to prison are the victims, not you. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of even Adnan... Adnan um, what's his name? Adnan, uh, who I respect. Is it Adnan? I can't remember the name now. Uh, I'll have to think of the name after. But he done a video. I'll have to go over that as well. So many bloody videos. So basically, yeah, I'm just going to kind of say that, you know, with the Dalotin situation, uh, I, I'm not going to... Uh, stop attacking him personally if i feel like i have to because he is putting himself in a pedestal saying he represents sikhs and i represent fuddles fuddles mean pricks and puddi means pussies and so when you say that openly to everybody and it says fuddu over calling me fuddu fuddu and you're saying you're a proper sikh but you're a cokehead you're a thingy you're you're drinking you're that your beard is like a freaking, like, uh, something out of the, a Mughal army. You know, you've got a long beard, but there's no freaking, uh, there's, the, the, there's, there's a moustache is trimmed, which Sikhs don't generally do, which shows me that you have some kind of um, mixed messages going on in your face as well. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I can't go into everything, thingy. So uh, I'll go into the next thing. So actually, these are what you call tortellian. I mean, these are blending, so I can't even talk. So what I'm going to do now is just blend it. You can see. So I should really do these separate. I will in the future start doing separate videos, but I can't at the moment. So just going to talk at the same time. So I can address two issues at the same time. I'm going away for three days, so I can't. I can't. Um, I haven't got time, man, at the moment.
bit of a disaster. So the, the second thing is I'm going to address is um, Saracen, um, which is big up Saracen. Uh, I believe he's one of the Muslims and his particular way of thinking is what's going to uh, bridge the divide between Muslims and non-Muslims. He's got an attitude that you know I like. I don't always agree with him, uh, like anybody, but he's a free thinker, so I respect him. And I know that he's not uh, somebody that just says anything because he's being vindictive, but because he really believes it. So he's upset with me kind of um, um, going after the, what's his name? The fuck Manchester guy. He's saying, look, uh, he said it by accident and, uh, you know, it's going to ruin his life. Do you know what? Um, I'm being honest with you. I really don't care. Uh, the guy is a grade A prick on an F. No, actually, grade A plus prick. There's a new, there's a new kind of category now with the plus, and he's gone into that. He knew what you were saying that day. Uh, I've watched that video back loads of times, and the amount of abuse and dirt that comes out of that man's face, mouth, especially I think the guy that's with him, little boy, little boy is with him. That is actually his son, and he's saying, "Yeah, you butt fucking thingy, you're doing this. It's just sick." And, you know, it's people like him that I know do not care about Manchester or anything because what they say is just, oh, well, this is happening in the Middle East. They can't have sympathy for both. So if you sympathise with Manchester, then, oh, if you sympathise with Manchester, oh, what, you know, F Manchester then. What about the kids over here? Obviously, yeah, human beings should care about every single kind of um, atrocity that's going on around in the world. But people are human beings and flawed, yeah? And so when things are closer to you in terms of proximity, it tends to be more... Um, more uh, It affects you more normally, yeah? That's just normal. So if it's in Manchester, you're likely to... That affects you more than saying someone's in Syria, unfortunately. Does that make it right? No, it doesn't. But to say to somebody, F Manchester, yeah, because of that, it's a disgrace that people have died. Young kids have died. Not, not you know, I mean, you're talking about little children, you're just going to a concert, uh, being blown up. And so I'm sick and tired of um, people giving people excuses. Like, look, I make mistakes as well, but do a video then and freaking apologise. Do a video. Like, you know, when I said the F seek things, I've done a video afterwards. Can't just, uh, you know, uh, expect people to just ex have you say that. And he lies and he lies. And listen to the language, and he's abused me so much that you know it's unbelievable. When he when he come up to me, he's all polite. Oh, hello, Raj, how you doing? So I just ripped into him. Didn't give him a second or a chance to even like communicate with me. Switched on the camera and just went hell for leather. And this is what I'm going to be doing all the time until people start realizing that you know condoning terrorism. Uh, condoning uh, grooming and stuff is unacceptable if you do, if you do get out the country man that's not racist tommy robinson said that as well if somebody doesn't like the uk and wants harm upon it get out deport you i'll deport you yeah i don't want you here yeah we can't live with people like you yeah we need people that are productive and whatever the uk has done in the past we can't freaking destroy the uk because of their past uh, indiscretions if you want to do that you're crazy because most people have realised, because of their hatred of the colonialism, they want to destroy the UK from within. Yeah. And not even thinking about what is going to happen to their kids, their grandkids. They will be left with a mess here yeah, that you are trying to uh, uh, promote or trying to kind of instigate. You're trying to destabilise things by letting millions of people into the country unbetted and stuff. And then what happens? You have terrorism and everything. Uh, obviously the hate speech, and then uh, I think that's pretty much all that I uh, was supposed to talk about, I think, I can't remember. Oh, you know, other thing is Saracen said something, so, look, I'm going to mention it, Saracen, uh, I don't think you come from a vindictive place, it was, you know, uh, so please, no one do anything to Saracen, I like Saracen, just leave him alone, he's somebody that I respect, but, uh, you know, he mentioned a valid point, a lot of people, not just him, other people are saying, oh, uh, Raj, or you, you know, uh, you you have eye outbursts because you're on the autistic spectrum and all that kind of stuff, and I find that very, 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 very patronising. It's one of the things that you know when I'm at my meeting, we go over um, that people tend to kind of attribute everything to autism. So, if you do something uh, good, it's nothing to do with autism, but if you do something bad, it's to do with autism. 
So can you see, like, it's like, oh, maybe I've just got an opinion, yeah? And you don't like it, so you attribute it to the autism. It's a very patronising way of kind of like, um, you know, trying to kind of undermine someone's um, <clears throat> someone's um, opinion. You know, remember, it is my opinion. And so, no offence, Ash Harrison, I know you didn't mean it in a bad way. I'm just using this as an example. Other people have done it as well. They've done videos, leave Raj alone. He's thinking, the people that suddenly are nice to me. I'm like, I'm still the same person. Like, what has changed? You didn't, You now just know that I'm on the autistic spectrum. And to be honest to you, I don't even think I'm on that far down. I'm not even sure if I'm autistic anymore, if I'm being honest to you. Obviously, I've got weird habits and stuff, but that doesn't necessarily... Um, you know, I got an official diagnosis six years ago, but as of right today, you know, I don't, I don't really think I am, to be honest. It's controversial to say that, but I definitely was when I was younger. Uh, my social skill, a lot of people see me now, and they, you know, if they haven't seen me for a long time, they're shocked, especially my family is very shocked when they see me, how uh, I go around just talking and all that stuff. Um, I do get exhausted, though. That's one thing. I was conked out for two days, which is why I haven't really got have, had much to do, like... You know, just literally conked out. My brain just gets fried the more I go out. So I was out on Saturday and Sunday. And Monday, Tuesday, I just kept on falling asleep. Just couldn't think. You just couldn't um, uh, wake up. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to be uploading videos anyway in the next couple of days. Uh, once again, I didn't really do anything, um, which is very annoying. I'm always just talking. I really, yeah, I will start doing just uh, videos that are just for, um, like I said, just for uh, uh, artists and then I'll separate the two so as you can see now what I'm going to do is uh, the darks that I've done I'll then pull out with a white electric eraser so I can have the highlights of the hair can you see can you see so you know, you, uh, this little electric eraser is very cheap in the sense that uh, it only costs maybe, what, uh, £5. But the refills, these little things are bloody expensive, man. I go through hundreds of them. Thousands, actually. I've got so many. Uh, they're, it's a bit like a printer. The actual uh, machine is not that expensive. They want to get you. And then once you're hooked, you can't stop using these little rubbers. And uh, they are deadly, though. Uh, like I said, I use other stuff as well. I'm just going to keep like, refining it. It's going to be a very tedious, boring um, thingy where I have to keep on refining and darkening and lightening. Uh, anyway, I'm going to shoot. Um, like I said, humour. Whether you like my humour or you don't, don't care. I like to make people feel awkward. And the more awkward they are, the more funnier I find it. Uh, that's why I do a lot of Hitler jokes and all that kind of stuff, calling people Heinrich Himmler. And so, uh, before I go, these are the perpetrators, yeah? This is your community. There will be a handful of idiots, yeah, from my community in there, and a handful of Hindus, a handful of white people. But overall, it's the, the Muslim community doing the grooming, yeah? That's simple and f it's a fact. I will not change my mind on that. Like I said, I, might, I will change my mind on other things, but not that particular issue. And it's our guys, the Sikh guys, yeah, that have been fighting this since the freaking 80s and people have gone to prison for it and have sacrificed themselves. I will not stop, yeah, until, and like I said again, any Sikhs that try coming down and want to confront me on this grooming epidemic, yeah, do it at your own peril. Because I will be more vicious towards you than I am to anybody else, yeah, and I will not hold any prisoners, yeah. If you want to go against me on this issue, fair enough. Come down, challenge me. But I will be as ruthless as anything. Yeah, I will treat you like a rag doll in a way. Sorry if that sounds bad. But I will be brutal with you. Because I think it's a disgrace when seats go against us on this particular issue. You can argue against other issues. This is why I'm so harsh with the Lotton. Because he, he just doesn't want to acknowledge there's a problem. And just goes against my narrative or the narrative that he knows to be true because he knows it's true because he's told me once that he knows it's true but he will not say it openly which is even worse yeah that's even worse and before everyone says oh uh, you're backstabbing the lotion again i know more about the lotion yeah than even what i've disclosed if i disclosed everything yeah you your brain would explode yeah i've been quite uh what i call restrained to a certain degree 
And another thing is that, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, sorry, James, you you did state that, oh, the lodging hasn't said anything about me, about my personal. Trust me, if you knew about my personal life and I had any hidden, hidden skeletons, he would have said something. The only reason he can't is because I don't have any hidden stuff in my, um, in my uh, uh, thingy. My life is boring as hell. You know, I don't drink, I don't go out, I don't do this, I don't do that, I don't do anything. I'm just like a freaking, uh, like a hermit or something. Yeah, I'm just like, you know, you can maybe say I'm just like, you know, just, just, I don't do nothing. There's no vices anymore. My only vice is my anger. Yeah, that's it. Everything else is gone. So he can't, he's, he's probably tried to find stuff, but he's going to find it very difficult. There's very little to get on me today. Yeah, if you look back 10 years ago, maybe, but not now. So don't hold him in such high regard. If he knew anything about me and he could, he would have shouted it out. It is no doubt about that. So anyway, I'm going to be off. And uh, thanks everyone again for the thousand, over 1,000 subscribers. I'll be back to Speaker's Corner on Sunday. And me and Hassan will be uh, destroying mines again uh, like we normally do. So which is my fun thing. I'm going to be doing a crazy video, I think. And I don't, I'm going to get a lot of stick for it. But I... I thought, screw it, let's just do it, man. So I'll upload it if it gets too much hate. Or people are too... Nah, if I, if get it, I'll just upload it. I was thinking about taking it down if too many people get upset. No, I'll upload it. It's just going to be a joke video. But you'll understand once it's up. Uh, it'll be a couple, maybe a couple of days because I'm going around. I'm, I've got things to do, like I said. Anyway, uh, I'm off. Bye.